What up, humans? Karumi here, and welcome to the Mobile Legends Bootcamp. In this video, we are going to talk about the mage Alice. Alice has burst, slow, stun, blink, and crowd control skills. Our queen of the apocalypse, Alice, is a mage hero. I consider Alice as a crowd control mage since her skills deal slow and stun to the enemies. Not only that, she is really mobile because of her first skill. Now, let me share some tips and tricks on how to use Alice based on my experience. I will also teach you some combos and techniques on the latter part of this bootcamp. But before that, let me explain our skills one by one for further understanding. Alice's passive, Blood Ancestry, generates a blood orb when nearby minions die. Absorbing a blood orb will increase your max HP by 10. There are specific effects gained, depending on the number of blood orbs you've absorbed. Alice is granted cooldown reduction when the number of blood orbs reaches 12. Alice is granted spell vamp when the number of blood orbs reaches 25. Alice is granted movement speed when the number of blood orbs reaches 50. So make sure to pick up those orbs lying on the ground. Alice's first skill, Flowing Blood, fires an orb to a specific direction. This orb deals magic damage to the enemies hit along the path. Using this skill again will make Alice teleport to the orb's direction. In terms of stunning enemies, Alice's second skill, Blood Awe, might help you on that. Alice deals magic damage to surrounding enemies. This also immobilizes them for a short period of time. The enemies will also have their movement speed reduced after that, for a short period of time. Alice's ultimate skill, Blood Ode, deals area of effect magic damage. Upon using, Alice will enter a blood sucking state for a few seconds. On this state, Alice will deal damage to surrounding enemies every half second. Not only that, Alice gains a certain amount HP for every pulse of damage she deals to enemies. The HP gain depends on Alice's magic damage. There are so many items that you can buy for Alice. You can either focus on cooldown items or items that gives you high magic power and spell vamp. For me, I choose to buy items that grants cooldown reduction, spell vamp, and health points. As for starting item, you can consider buying Clock of Destiny. This grants you magic damage, health points, and mana. Its unique passive grants additional HP and magic attack every 30 seconds, permanently, up to 10 times only, when the maximum stack of 10 has been reached. The hero will receive extra 5% magic damage and additional 300 mana. In my opinion, you can consider buying magic shoes or demon shoes for Alice. Magic shoes grants additional movement speed and cooldown reduction. This can help you cast more of your first skill for burst damage and mobility. On the other hand, demon shoes grants mana regeneration and additional movement speed. Its unique passive grants percentage regeneration of mana to Alice. She gains 10% mana every time she kills an enemy or assists on killing an enemy. She also gains 4% of mana every time she eliminates a minion. This can help her spam her skills more not worrying of her mana points. Buying magic items such as lightning truncheon will help you deal more burst damage. This item gives you magic power, mana, and cooldown reduction. Its unique passive will deal magic damage to your target and two other enemies when you use a skill. This unique passive has a short cooldown. Since most of your items gives you mana, the unique passive of this item will be more explosive. You might also want to consider concentrated energy. It provides additional HP, magic power, and spell vamp. Spell vamp can greatly increase your survivability. Given that her skills deals area of effect damage, Alice can regenerate lots of health when hitting enemies with her skills. Another item to keep in your tab is Winter Truncheon. Its unique passive grants immunity to all damage and debuff for a short period of time. While being immune to all damage, you are also disabled and frozen during the duration. This item works while your ultimate is active. You can also consider Divine Glaive. This item grants magic power. Its unique effect grants a certain percentage of magic penetration on your skills. In addition, 
Its unique passive grants extra magic penetration when your HP is above a certain amount. The items build for Alice really depends on the enemy's lineup. So make sure to read each item's description so you can adapt in-game. One of the best spells to be used on Alice is Petrify. Being on the middle of the team fight, she can use this to disable enemies for a few moments. This can be used to disable enemies in combo with your skills. Petrify also deals a small amount of damage. You can also use it just to give her a shield that absorbs damage. This can make you more durable when inside team fights. In my opinion, the best emblem set to be used is the Custom Mage Emblem set. Custom Mage Emblem could provide extra stats according to your needs as a mage. Set agility to its max level because it can give you extra move speed. Higher move speed will give you higher mobility to either escape or chase enemies. Setting observation to max level will provide additional magic penetration on your skills. Higher magic penetration deals more magic damage to enemies. That means, your skills will be more explosive during team fights. Get Impure Rage to deal extra damage depending on the enemy's current HP. Impure Rage also restores your mana. For me, it's the best thing to get since Impure Rage has only 5 seconds cooldown. This makes her skills more powerful with Impure Rage since it has low cooldown. The mana restored by Impure Rage helps you to avoid buying items with high mana region. Set Flowing Blood to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the base damage higher. That means, you can cast this skill with more damage dealt. Prioritize Blood Aless since her first skill is what you need for burst damage. Always upgrade her ultimate skill when available for upgrading. Make sure to aim your first skill properly. Your first skill will only damage the enemies along its path. So make sure to anticipate the enemy's movement to make sure to hit them. You can use your first skill to clear lanes easily. This is a good advantage since your first skill has a low cooldown. You can trick your enemies with your first skill. When escaping, you can point your orb to the opposite direction you're heading. Your first skill can be the game changer since this can go through walls. Making you able to blink through walls with this as well. In terms of engaging in a 1 vs 1 fight, I follow a combo for Alice. First, I suggest to use your first skill first. I used my second skill. This is to immobilize the enemy instantly. Then I used my ultimate skill. Afterwards, I used my first skill to deal magic damage. Since the enemy is running trying to escape, I used Petrify to stun the enemy. Then I just use whichever skill comes in cooldown first. Just make sure to use your first skill to chase after or escape from the enemy. In terms of going in team fights, I usually follow a combo. First, I use my first skill to jump inside the team fight. Then, I use my second skill to immobilize the enemies. Then, I use my ultimate to bathe myself with their blood. This will help me regenerate more health while inside the team fight. Since there are lots of enemies surrounding me and inside my ultimate skill, you can use Petrify after casting your ultimate. I just haven't used Petrify on this scenario since it's on cooldown. Then I just use any skill that's available to deal lots of magic damage. Just make sure to use your first skill in a smart way. This can either let you chase enemies, or escape death. Here is another scenario of my combo when going in team fights. I used my ultimate right after going and using first skill, then I used second skill. Then you can use petrify if it's not on cooldown, then use whatever skill comes available next. But again, use your skills in a smart way, especially your first skill. Because your first skill can make or break your survival. Additional tip, make sure to pick up the blood orbs as much as possible. This will maximize your passive skill, which could help you throughout the game. Also, don't underestimate the power of lightning truncheon. On this clip, you will see that Hanabi was hit by my first skill, plus lightning truncheon's passive. Hanabi is now close to seeing the stars in heaven, so make sure to time it well with your skills to deal super duper burst damage. The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Alice. This video just guides you on how to use Alice, the Kurumi way. So, once again, this is Kurumi and that's how you use Alice. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to my channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe button below. For our skin giveaway events, check out the featured video on our channel for the mechanics.
see you on the next Mobile Legends Boot Camp. Cheers.